episode starts with how Asahi died after getting hit by a car and was later reincarnated in another world in little to no time. While strolling around a village, he entered a shop to exchange his smartphone for local clothes and a sword. Asahi eventually prepared himself for the challenges he would face, given that he was an otaku heavily invested in Aesukai mangas and games in his previous life. After meeting the guild receptionist, Asahi headed out to accomplish his first ever quest to defeat killer rabbits, inferior level monsters that were known to be easy to kill. However, he inadvertently ran into a giant wyvern. Luckily, he was saved by his elder sister, Maya, who followed him to the Ice Sky world after bashing her head repeatedly on a wall. Maya revealed to Asahi that he had been comatose in the real world, and she didn't know how to return. After Maya saved the village from three ogres, Asahi was credited for everything, and the villagers even titled him the Mighty Hero. After discovering that he was ranked up to ogre level, Asahi was delighted, however his joy faded after learning that faking accomplishments was a crime and would ultimately lead to a hero's death. Asahi was panic-stricken after finding out that his sister's power levels and the status exceeded the maximum limit, making her the strongest entity in the new world. After a hero parade, Asahi landed in a tight spot after people around him asked him to stop the furious hero from wreaking havoc around the restaurant. Asahi asked his sister to land an attack near the hero, far from people's eyes, making it look like he did it. The entire village cheered for Asahi and commended his bravery. With the thought of dealing with his own problems without Maya's help, Asahi headed to the guild to request a beginner's level quest. After being assigned a mission to collect rainbow mushrooms near Claudio Forest, Asahi was content, however he soon discovered that the forest was plagued with ferocious wild bears. While being chased by a bear, Asahi was saved by a girl with two horns on her head, eventually the two were surrounded by a horde of bears, but the girl defeated them in a whiplash with her magical abilities and combat prowess, she later defeated their leader Kaiser Bear with her Crimson Blaze technique. After revealing herself to be Kilmaria, the sixth general of the Demon King, she immensely startled Asahi, however, that he was more scared when he discovered she was looking for someone named Akusaba, who gained fame shortly after defeating majestic monsters. After Kilmaria learned that Asahi was the very person she was looking for around the village, she started chasing him to challenge him to a duel, Maya came to Asahi's rescue and engaged in a battle with Kilmaria, Kilmaria was defeated as Maya turned out to be a stronger opponent. Kilmaria wanted to be killed since she lost the battle, however Asahi asked Maya to spare Kilmaria's life as she saved him multiple times in a row, Kilmaria was glad that she gained human siblings who were different from the rest. While being chased by a horde of goblins, Asahi was saved by Maya once again, after that she suggested helping him cheat to rank up, but he declined the offer and affirmed that he wanted to become strong without any hacks. At the guild, the thought of having a team and going on adventures enraptured Asahi. Through Tanya, Asahi learned about Bamung, a five-person team led by Siegfried, that the whole town praises for their valor and strength. However, Tanya startled him by saying the group had been disbanded after being defeated by a mysterious opponent. Asahi encountered Siegfried outside the guild, being threatened by a few hooligans he eventually defeated. Later Asahi revealed his situation and thanked Siegfried for lending him his water bag. Tanya assigned Asahi with a new mission of defeating a couple of wyverns. Finding Asahi in trouble, Kilmaria helped him by eradicating wyverns in a flash with her crimson flare. Eventually Maya joined the duo after defeating the remaining wyverns. Kilmaria challenged Maya to a duel, which she declined. After the altercation, they worked together to save Asahi from a surprise wyvern attack. Before leaving, Kilmaria commended the strong bond between the Akusaba siblings. To make a living, Asahi undertook one of the most profitable quests that led him to a haunted mansion, as Asahi was panic-stricken with a reputation for chickening out of even a beginner-level mission, Maya assisted him like always, after reaching the location, Asahi learned that the evil spirit residing in the mansion was capable of draining energy. However the spirit couldn't contain Maya's enormous life force, Asahi was attacked repeatedly by the ghost, 
which caused Maya to utilize all her expensive potions for healing minor injuries. Although Maya fought the spirit valiantly, she ultimately succumbed to possession. As Asahi didn't want the evil spirit to wreak havoc using his sister's body, he stayed in the house to find solutions without running away. Kilmaria paid a surprise visit to the siblings and eventually learned what the fuss was all about. Kilmaria challenged Maya to a duel, but she lost miserably. Maya repelled the spirit from her body after seeing Asahi's determination to protect his sister. The siblings completely refurbished the property and turned it into their own. Asahi was given a new task by the guild that involved investigating a recently found dungeon that had been revealed as a result of an altercation between Kilmaria and Maya. Asahi first intended to do the task on his own, but his proactive older sister finally joined him for assistance. Asahi carelessly stepped into multiple traps, but Maya kept him safe. After Maya and Asahi vanquished every skeletal knight protecting the dungeon, they discovered Kaiser Bear's pups and made the decision to declare the location unstable so that the cubs would live there in peace. Asahi saw a strange girl on the way home, who later turned out to be Kilmaria, using the disguise magic. Kilmaria adored spending time with Asahi and even picked up a lot of knowledge about people. After a while, the Kilmaria offered to make Asahi into a demon, but he turned it down. When Asahi and Kilmaria arrived at his house, he told Maya that he wanted the three of them to eat supper together. Kilmaria was astounded by Maya's delicacies and promised to return for more mouth-watering meals. Keeping an eye on Asahi from afar, Maya was happy to see her brother defeat the wolf monster with ease, however the former eventually got caught up in a tight spot after a wolf-like beast thrice the size of the one he defeated moments ago appeared in front of him. Maya saved Asahi by defeating the monster in time and even asked her brother if she could heal his wounds by licking, using escape magic, Asahi got away from Maya in an instant. While strolling around the town, Asahi ran into a healer, who introduced herself as Sophie Peaceful and helped him by healing his wounds. After arriving at the guild with Maya, Asahi learned that Sophie and her party were in trouble near a dungeon. The Akusaba siblings saved Sophie and her part by defeating all the plant-like monsters. Later at a tavern, Sophie thanked Asahi for his help and even got along with Maya. Sophie resigned from her previous party, making the members furious. The next day Sophie joined Asahi in his quest to gather killer bee honey, and they eventually ran into the mother bee. At this point, Asahi's pride was saved by Maya once again. As the Demon King's minions wreaked havoc on the village, the Akusaba siblings took matters into their own hands, demonstrating her overwhelming magic prowess. Maya warded off all the orcs, leaving behind three low-level monsters capable of hypnotizing their opponent with a unique dance move. Asahi let his defenses down and was hypnotized, which caused him to become more accepting of Maya. However, the effect faded as soon as Asahi fell and hit his head. Brondith, the subordinate of one of the six Demon King's generals, Giganto of the Hundred Beasts, showed up at the battlefield and tried to tease Asahi for his inferiority, which caused Maya to defeat him in seconds. The following day, Asahi headed to the guild for a fresh task but was surprised by Tanya's absence, Tanya and her younger brother Roy, who was traveling to the neighboring hamlet for some business, were ultimately encountered by the Asahi. Tanya wanted to enlist Asahi as her bodyguard in order to safeguard herself and her brother from the dangers they would encounter on their journey. Tanya had no idea that Asahi was just cannon fodder, despite knowing that he would ultimately get into problems and lose respect and credit, Asahi agreed to the request. Asahi came upon a wyvern as he had anticipated, Despite his fear, he made every effort to tame the beast with all at his disposal and was ultimately successful. Asahi was unaware that Maya was the one who defeated the wyvern from a distance, giving him the win. Asahi was overjoyed after leveling up to rank 20, which granted him the light affinity of level 1. However, much to his disappointment, the ability was nothing more than a flash attack that blinds the opponent for a few seconds. After reaching the location where Asahi was assigned to clear out a fake guild misusing the adventurer system, Kilmaria and Maya defeated everyone, leaving their leader, Lightning Strike Lombard, 
Surprisingly, Sophie also joined Asahi and his sisters with a huge crowd of local villagers to show the greatness of the legendary hero. With Maya's help, Asahi defeated Lombard and saved his pride in front of everyone, elsewhere Gloria and Kuan wiped out Papinski and the entire clan of Overdose, who was also running a fake guild, after learning about Asahi being stationed nearby, Gloria decided to visit him but was disappointed after finding him cornered by an ogre. From afar, Maya used her magic to create massive craters in front of Asahi to save his pride as well as intimidate Gloria, Asahi's problems finally worsened when Gloria challenged him to a formal duel at the arena, a few days later, Asahi accepted Gloria's challenge without the aid of his older sister. Kill Maria tried to intervene when she saw Asahi in a tight spot, but Maya dissuaded her by suggesting they should believe him this time, using his light affinity, Asahi defeated Gloria without causing her harm and making her fall head over heels for him. While leaving the house for their next big mission of finding a rare golden flower, the Akusaba siblings entrusted the place's safety to kill Maria. En route to the location, Sophie joined them, with the idea of finding the object quickly, Maya and Sophie split up with Asahi, out of the blue, Asahi was then cornered by a group of goblins. However, Kilmaria came to his rescue and killed all of them, after a while, hearing a loud scream, Asahi headed in that direction and found a village with corpses everywhere, eventually it turned out to be the doing of a wizard named Malkanth, who served one of the six demon generals. Disregarding her position as a demon general, Kilmaria extinguished Malkanth with her flame lance, Maya and Sophie, after accomplishing their missions, regrouped with Asahi, at the guild, Asahi was baffled to learn that he again ranked up and was close to the golem class. After leading the guild, Asahi ran into the flustered Gloria and presumed that she and Kuan still suspected him of falsifying his rank, Asahi joined Gloria and Kuan to prove himself right again, despite the fear that he might get caught this time. He constantly suffered bodily harm whenever Gloria tried to flirt with him, the trio eventually encountered a demonic tree, after being embarrassed by the tree exposing her skirt, Gloria defeated the creature in a single move. Kuan requests Asahi helped her move Gloria's things to her new house, as she chose to live alone rather than with her parents, Gloria's family butler Sebastian, tried to stop her but failed miserably, presuming Asahi to be the one who was manipulating Gloria, Sebastian hired a dragon class hero to teach him a lesson. However, Maya's intimidating aura made them reconsider their evil plans, to make Asahi live in her new mansion, Gloria decided to go with Kuan's plan to form a clan and turn the place into their base, Tanya and Gloria were supportive after learning about Asahi starting a clan. However since Asahi was aware of his potential, he first confronted his issues with Maya before making a decision, the latter relieved the latter by assuring him about his true potential, later during a short excursion, Asahi encountered Basilisk, a rare and dangerous lizard-type creature that can turn anyone to stone when they meet its gaze. Asahi and the others tried several ways to undo the petrification, but nothing worked, surprisingly Kilmaria rescued them with her healing magic and brought Asahi to normal, the next day Asahi registered his clan as Super Asahi Legion. After learning about a team mission on a shark-infested beach, Asahi couldn't suppress his enthusiasm and accepted the quest, Asahi discovered that Kuan and Gloria had killed all the sharks before the team arrived at the location, with no task to accomplish, Super Asahi Legion decided to unwind a little. Kilmaria joined the group in her human form and eventually unleashed chaos with her choice of swimsuit, Suddenly Sophie and Tanya were surrounded by a shiver of sharks possessing unique elemental abilities, proclaiming themselves to be the ten greatest of the Sea King. After one of the sharks tossed Asahi into the maelstrom, Maya fearlessly endangered her life and rescued him successfully, the Akusaba siblings got swept away by the strong currents to an uninhabited island. Later Asahi discovered that the whole island thing was a game in which Maya won the voucher to spend the entire day with him against the five, after the great king shark showed himself, with the help of all his ten greatest, he transformed into a mecha, Maya defeated the monster in one devastating attack to get over the ruckus.
They head back to the town after their beach trip and met a rainfall a couple of days later, which of control Giruligula uses it as an opportunity to, to launch an attack on the town. The following morning, the place is overrun with slime that pushes the residents to high ground. Tanya reveals that such an incident has happened before, so they split up to solve the problem kill Maria and Maya head out to find the culprit, the members from disbanded clan Balmont come together to help all, but while Asahi finds Roy and begins to evacuate till they are attacked by some water monsters. However an overclass adventurer and seek free team up to take care of them, he informs that he should send Roy and the injured girl to the cathedral for treatment before finding the core of the slime. Shortly after they arrive at the cathedral and Sophie is overworking herself to help the wounded till she collapses on Asahi, but his hole gives her energy again, while Clan Belmont deals with the spawning monster, as they try to find safety in some of the noble people's home but they are all reluctant to open. They arrive at Brigandine where Gloria opens for them to enter before setting off to support the others, meanwhile Guruligula enjoys the mayhem till she is tracked down and defeated by Maya and Kill Maria. Asahi also unlocks level 2 of his rock throwing ability that he uses to exterminate the slime. The water level begins to fall as the town has been saved, as usual Asahi is given most of the credit and promoted to Golem class, everyone gathers at their home to celebrate as they continue to enjoy their life in this new world. So this is the end of anime, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it.